Welcome to my closet. I'm super super excited to show you guys my closet. It has been in the making for a couple months now, just like getting pieces here and there that kind of complete the overall closet that I'm super super excited to show you guys if you guys don't already know. I am a fashion content creator for Native TikTok. If you guys haven't seen my TikTok videos, I'll link my socials down below. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys subscribe down below. I am trying to reach 10k so let's make that a goal of 2022 is reach it at least by 10k by the end of the year. I'm super super excited to create content that I'm most proud of that inspires an indigenous person out there or you know showcases who I am as an indigenous person in social media. Um, so with that being said let's get on into the closet tour. Okay so I have my ring light you guys were actually set up like right here um so i just want to give you guys like a quick overview of my closet okay if the camera will focus let's see focus camera okay there we go all right so right here i have me and my son's shoes just like right here it's perfect because i just don't want them on the floor um, so I have my son's sneakers and like just like his shoes that he could go ahead and grab. I'm actually selling these shoes on Mercari. I am going to be selling a lot of my clothes on Mercari. So I'll link it down below the link. That way you guys could buy some of my clothes that I'm actually giving like away that I'm trying to get rid of. It'll be linked down below. Um, so yeah, I just have me and my son's shoes right here. Um, so my son's shoes are down there so that way he could grab them really really quick. He's so cute He's just like shoes 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 and I'm just like yes get your shoes um, And then I have like my ballet flats right here. I have me and my son's sneakers that we mostly wear every day um, As you can see I love Puma so much. So hi Puma uh, Let's see my sandals are right here and then I have my clear heels, clear heels, there we go. And then my mocks that I love to style all the time. And then I actually have these Pumas that I thrifted. They're actually the Rihanna collaboration that she did with Puma. Um, so I'm super, super excited that I actually got these at a thrift store. So they're super, super cute. Um, and then I just have them like up there. Um, and then up here, as you can see, I actually have my shoes. So all of my heels are up here, and then my Christian Siriano bag, and then my bag that my grandpa actually got for me at a casino. <laughs> so this is just like the overview, and then my caboodle is something that I carry with me when I travel places, so it keeps like all of my makeup all organized and everything, so I love her, so she's just up there. And then I have these two like bins that I love to keep me and my son's socks and stuff. So this one is mine, this one is actually my son's. And then if you pan down, I have like all of my clothes. So right here I actually have like my fall wear, like these blue jeans were actually gifted for me. These blue jeans were actually gifted to me by my grandma Penny. Um, and then back here I just have like my Navajo rugs, my sash belt and all of that. Um, so they're actually just Levi jeans. And I think they're going to be so, so cute during the fall to style, definitely. And then this one is actually like a leather jacket that my mom gave me. Um, it's actually real genuine leather, so it's super, super thick and heavy. And then this I thrifted. This is actually like a really old, old jacket that I got from Walmart like years ago. Um, and then this piece right here I actually thrifted. It's so, so cute. I cannot wait to style her in the fall. Um, yeah, and then I just like have my my Ace is Wild state line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so these are all just like my blazers as well, all of my pants. And then as you guys could see, it's kind of color coordinated. So I have like blacks, browns, like cream beige colors, whites, and then like all of like my um, colored shirts. I don't really have that much colored shirts. The reason why I keep them back there is to like kind of hide them a little bit. Um, but I need more color in my life. But this is like my color palette that I like to stay in. 
which is like brown, blue, white, brown, black. Um, so yeah, those are my clothes. And then down here, I actually just have like my like electronic stuff, my phone cases that I like to switch out between. Like this one is so, so cute. Just like a basic black one that I got from the dollar store. My Amazon dirty one that I replaced a long time ago. And then this is actually a notebook that I write down like all of like my ideas and stuff. It says brainstorming. So, so cute. Um, so she's just there. And then right here I just have... I just have my son's pants and then I have like my pants and like my bottoms and stuff. Okay, so this one right here is a like a little like filer that I keep like my receipts and all of like my documents and stuff like our tribal paperwork and you know just like important documents. It's good to just have it all like together. I actually thrifted her so she's so so cute. I just added the little like sticker. Um, but yeah, she's so, so cute. And then this is actually a, like, lap thing. So you, like, put it on your lap when you're editing. And, like, my my iPad goes right there. And that's, like, how I edit in bed. Um, or just, like, on the couch in general when, like, I want, like, a flat surface. So that comes in super, super handy. I actually got it from Five Below. Right here is just actually just, like, my dirty laundry. And then in this basket is actually the clothes that I'm selling on Mercari. So they're just in there with, like just that over it we went on this side and now we're gonna go on this side so let's start up here up here I just have like boxes of like photos and just like random miscellaneous things right here is actually my pencil holder that I just go ahead and grab all the time when I'm grabbing my notebook to plan different videos ideas journaling up here I actually have these cute little debe which is sheep in Navajo that my grandma Penny gave my son when he was a newborn. So, so cute. So they're actually just together like a little family. Right here is where I keep all of my like loose change. So I just like go ahead and just like toss it in there. Um, so I, I mean, actually really need to go and deposit that money that's in there, like all the loose change. As you guys could see, I have my grandma, my sweet, sweet grandma, and then my grandma back in i want to say the 70s but look at her she's on the left side she was a fashionista so she's actually on the left side in the yellow i don't know if i could zoom in a little bit more but yeah that is my grandma back in the day with um i think her auntie i want to say this picture right here is actually of me and my grandma at disneyland we used to go there a lot when i was a kid um so yeah, this is the overview of the top. Most of my shoes are actually thrifted as well. Um, but yeah. And then we're just going to drag it down this way. These bags I don't really use as much. So they're just like there. Up there I just have like sticker designs. That one is actually by one of my friends. She actually has a sticker collection. Oh, sticker collection. Sticker shop. As well as like prints and all of that. So and then my little sister actually made this for my son. She is such an artist. I come from like an artist family. Like a lot of my aunties are artists. My uncles are artists. Um, it's just like, it's, whoop. it's something that runs in like a lot of native families is artistry. Um, so he, she actually made, so my little sister actually made this. She is so, so talented and I just had to frame her above my bed frame but yeah so we're gonna go down here i'll just give you guys a quick overview of what i have right here um so starting off right here i actually have like all of my jewelry and all of my bling and then right here i just have like my hoops that i love to wear every single day just like my studded earrings as well i actually bought that off of amazon again i'll link it down below it comes in super super handy it has like different like backings so for always losing your backings of your earrings this is perfect um it helps me every single day because like literally like most of my earrings don't have backings to them so this has like all sorts of like gold and silvers and then clear ones that you could choose from um so it's super super helpful so she just stays back there 
up here is actually like my real gold, like my real gold jewelry. Um, so it's like my expensive jewelry, my indigenous intentions. It's actually like real gold. Um, so I just have them up there that I like to wear every single day. These actually hold like a lot of my jewelry that I'm not going to go into because that's like a lot. That's that. And it's so, so cute. It's like a letter B, B for Brandy. Um, okay, and then right here, it's just something that I'm just super, super proud of, of finding, actually, <laughs> is this thrifted, like, photo album that's actually from Old Navy, um, and then it just has a picture of my grandma and my son, this heart I actually made for making my vision board, um, so I went ahead and just made a heart and stuck it in here, um, so I cannot wait to fill this with a lot of pictures, actually have one of me and my son and then me of my son um so i like to look at this like every single day um just to have a piece of my grandma nearby me so right here we are gonna go into like my indigenous side um so right here i just have like my pendleton bag that my mom actually gave me and then this one i actually bought at chinley flea market and then i just have like a basic like brown bag back there um, the reason why I have them up here is because, like, they don't really go anywhere else. They're kind of just, like, small little bags I could just set, like, right here. And then this part, oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited for. Like, it just, it makes my whole closet come together. Like, she's just, like, look at her. She's just amazing. Um, I did get her at ross for five dollars this thing right here yeah so she's so so cute love her love her she holds my turquoise just perfectly just nejone so beautiful right here i have my beaded earrings collection as well as my turquoise over there and then this is something that my grandma penny gave me as well it's just like a navajo rug that's also like beaded um just like the details in general it's just so so beautiful here, I'll show you guys. I'll zoom in a little bit. So we just have the spindle wheel and then the Navajo tools. And this is actually something that helps you get the, like, loom. Like, you... Oh, it's so hard to explain. And then this, like, little cute, like, little basket. Oh, she's so, so cute. Yeah. And then right here, my grandma Penny actually gave me these books. Um, so I just have like a spider woman book, my Dinepaza Navajo language book, and then my weaving book as well. And then go up here, I have like my Navajo jewelry and just like my Navajo wear. And then my sunglasses. I actually got these ones from Dollar Tree, which is so, so cute. This one I got online and then this one is just like H&M glasses. And then over here, I actually have my Navajo weaving basket basket my navajo bag there we go so it just like has like all of my navajo tools it has like my navajo yarn like just like different selections of yarn it's just not just store-bought yarn there's actually like wool yarn in here um so it's super super helpful that she's just like here to just like grab and like go and back here i actually have this bag that my grandma actually made um so she makes these and she sells these when she goes to like parades and all of that um or get togethers or art markets so so cute um love her and then down here i have another bag which is like has like all of like my sticks for when i'm setting up my navajo loom so it has those in there and then this suitcase actually has like pendleton more pendleton underneath this bag um and then i just have like my other pendleton bag that my mom gave me and then over here is just like my son's clothes. It's also color coordinated as you could see. Um, so we have like colored shirts. We have green shirts, blue shirts, black shirts, uh, gray shirts, red shirts, like cream, brown shirts, and then like his white shirts. Um, so yeah, I believe that's literally everything in my closet that I showed you guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour and got a sneak peek of my closet. And it's something that's very, very different, especially on YouTube, is showcasing my indigenous, like who I am as the indigenous person in this modern day lifestyle that we're living in. 
and it's something that I'm super super proud of it's something that I wear with proudness every single day because our ancestors couldn't back in the day they were ashamed of who they were as native people they were ashamed of well not them but you know they were kind of put through a lot of traumatic places that you know force them to not be proud of being native and it's something that I hold very very sincere to me is that nobody in the world can tell me not to wear my native jewelry with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this tour i am so so proud to show you guys my closet to have you guys have a little sneak peek in my life with that being said hook on it goodbye peace and love subscribe <laughs>